goodness, faithfulness, self-control. We could all use a little more self-control, right? Why does a why does a tree bear fruit? Does the tree eat its own fruit? No, the tree makes fruit. So it can continue, yeah. Seeds will fall to the ground, but the fruit is there for others. And so God wants you to be fruitful in the middle of the madness. He doesn't want you to wither up and die. And I don't know what your family situation is like. I don't know what your school situation is like. But he says, I will make you greener. You stick with me. You trust in me. Don't trust in what you see on TV, what you see on your phone, what you see on Instagram, what you see on your news feeds. Don't trust that stuff. Trust in me. Because I'll lead you. I'll lead you to good places. Remember that repentance word? Come on, don't get that way. Go this way. To places where you can get greener and fresher in the midst of the madness. So I wrote a song, and I guess we'll finish with this. I think I'm out of time. Um, I wrote this song in a time where, where I was not comfortable. I didn't like it. I didn't like what was going on and in, in, in around my life. But God was saying to me, hey, come on, bring it back. Hone it in. Refocus. Focus on me. Don't run off to things to find refreshment that will just make you sicken. Stick with me. You watch what I do in the midst of this madness. You'll get greener, you'll get fresher, and more loving and more peaceful in the midst of this. You know what a vision for you guys is? So I wrote this book, this Redwoods and Wales book. Um, you can you can buy them in the lobby. If you have any money, just steal one. Um, yeah, seriously. But um, yeah, the, the Redwoods thing, this tree, here's God's vision for you. You'll be like a tree planted by the river with its roots running deep, right? Those trees are out there in the redwood forests, some of them are over 2,000 years old. They were little trees when Jesus was walking the earth. They're old and they're beautiful. God's vision for you is that you get old one day, a ripe old age, but that you're beautiful. And when I say beautiful, I mean loving. God wants you to be a loving old man, Elijah, one day. A beautiful, peaceful guy. A joyful man. Do you know what I'm saying? Because people around you are going to need you to be loving and peaceful and joyful. And you girls, same deal. A beautiful, radiant woman who is elderly but is, you know, is still got it. Instead of getting grumpy, right? Old people, why do they get grumpy? I think they stop, they stop focusing on God and they start watching and focusing on their TVs. So, so God's vision for you is that you get greener, fresher, you grow tall with one another, and that you get more fruitful. Yeah. You want to be a watermelon? <laughs> I trust you. I'm not going to trust in what I see. I'm not going to bow the knee to fear. I'm going to be, I, I want to get greener. I want to be fresher in the midst of this. I want to bear fruit because the people around me are going to need it. I need it, but the people around me are going to need it. So, so, so maybe as I sing this song, you put that stake in the ground. How about that? Yeah? All right. So you can close your eyes. I'll sing it over you. You can have a little nap if you need to. <laughs> ah, yeah, why not? You know this world is weird right now. You 
know what we're all going through. You know the things that we're feeling corporately, also individually. We're all going through stuff. But we welcome you into the middle of the stuff. And we say we want to trust you. We're going to trust in you. We're not going to trust in our own feelings. We're not going to trust in what we see. We're going to trust you because your ways lead to life. We believe that and we're going to behave accordingly to that. And um, so we put that stake in the ground this morning. We say we trust you. And we also say, hey, we're sorry for some of the things that we've been doing that that, they're kind of not leading to life. And um, we're going to turn from those things and turn toward you because your ways lead to life and truth and hope. Because Jesus, you are the way and the truth and the life. And that's what we want. as you fill us with your spirit, make us more fruitful, make us more loving, more peaceful, patient people. In Jesus' name. Because every test we go through
Amen.